Sanda Ojiambo. I am currently the head of the Corporate Responsibility Department. It's a broad department that uh, encompasses the Safaricom Foundation. We also do sustainability reporting for the company. We do environmental compliance and social innovation. Do you touch on or work with youth, women and SMEs? We don't really have specific populations as target groups, mm -hmm. but what we do have is a very broad mandate. Mm -hmm. And I think the areas where we've really worked with youth uh, and women and some of the groups you've mentioned mm -hmm. is really under our economic empowerment thematic area. We also, in our area of education, also engage quite heavily with young people, of course. Could you elaborate on your CSI? We tend to define our community engagement as corporate social investment. Mm -hmm. For us, it's an investment in communities in which we work, and it's long term. Mm -hmm. So it's not a one-off, it's not something that we do at Christmas or special occasions. It's very much embodied in the way that the company does business. Uh, and I think a really good example about this is the fact that um, when Safaricom was formed in 2000, even before we started making profits, even before we were you know, a nationwide company, we started doing our corporate social investment program. So it's something that has been our way of life, certainly for the last 12 years of our existence. What is your experience managing this foundation? It's been very exciting. The foundation has grown year on year. Um, on average, every year we, we approve and implement about 100 to 120 projects. Uh, we have a very broad countrywide footprint. We have projects from, you know, Turkana, Pokot, Moyale, uh, Lamu, Transmara, Kisi, all over the country. So it's really fulfilling to be able to visit communities, interact with people where together with their input and ideas, we've been able to transform lives. It's, okay. it's truly a fulfilling job. What sectors do you focus on? We have a broad mandate. We're probably the corporate foundation with the largest mandate in Kenya. Um, we work in education, we work in health, we work in economic empowerment, mm -hmm. environmental conservation, arts, culture and music as they relate to development, mm -hmm. and um, disaster relief. So we pretty much do everything, everything. other than religion and politics. As we say. But, um, and we, so we don't focus, I mean about 95% of what we fund is funded based on proposals that we receive from Kenyans, Kenyan communities, and Kenyan NGOs. And about 5%, which is often in times of disaster relief or critical issues of national importance, we then go out and seek to fund them of our own initiative. So we really exist to respond to Kenyans in as many ways as possible. Please share a particularly high moment you've had. Well, I'll say for this year or the last couple of months, I think being part of the Kenyans for Kenya initiative mm -hmm. was definitely a high. Um, as you know, it was tr you know it had tremendous success, both in terms of being a public fundraiser, but also reigniting the spirit of Kenyans, and I think focusing attention on something that was truly a national issue. Mm -hmm. So for me, in the last, well, it's certainly been over 12 months, it's just over 12 months, um, that really has been my high, um, oh. just being part of the team that was involved in Kenyans for Kenya. How can a business person work with a foundation? Well, I think first of all, we just need to be sure that we are aligned. Mm -hmm. The foundation supports charitable trusts, um, charitable institutions. So I think we just need to be clear that we may not be able to necessarily support businesses, but I acknowledge that businesses also have charitable angles or businesses partner with communities or CBOs or NGOs. Mm -hmm. But you know, from that, as I said, we have a very wide mandate and it's always possible to come in and have a discussion around what areas of partnership you're interested in and what you would like to do. What's your motivation? I've worked in the NGO sector for the last 11 years so prior to joining Safaricom. Mm -hmm. For me, I think just um, harnessing the creativity of of communities and of Kenyans to find solutions really does motivate and drive me. I firmly believe that you know most of the time the challenges we face as Kenyans and as a country um, actually ones that we can solve ourselves. So if I can be part of that change process and that transformation process, that really does motivate me. I mean, no one project is unique, no one scenario is unique, and no one solution is unique. So I think it's, it's a very dynamic and changing area. Mm -hmm.